Have you ever wondered about the true scale of the Great Galactic War and its impact on countless civilizations across the universe? Imagine a conflict so vast that it spans thousands of star systems and affects trillions of lives. Today, we dive into the staggering reality of this interstellar battle, unveiling the unseen destruction and immense casualties it caused. The Great Galactic War was not just a series of isolated battles, but a cataclysmic event that reshaped entire star systems. To grasp the enormity of this war, let's start by understanding the sheer scale of the conflict. The Draco Orion Empire, along with their allied species and constellations, controlled 236 stars with multiple habitable planets across 26 constellations, totaling a military force of 438 billion beings. On the other side, the Lirans and their allies, most of whom are now part of the Galactic Federation, controlled another 236 stars across 38 constellations. This gives us a combined total of 472 stars, 1,416 planets, and a military force of 825 billion beings. These figures represent the military forces alone, which accounted for just 3 to 30% of the total population. When we consider the broader population, the total number of beings affected by the war ranged between 4.12 trillion and 27.5 trillion beings. Imagine the impact on each of these beings, families torn apart, entire civilizations disrupted, and countless lives lost. The Great Galactic War was not just about the numbers. It was about the profound cost and the cultural devastation that ensued. As we continue, we'll delve deeper into the details of the involved parties, the scale of destruction, and the immense loss of life. Stay with us as we explore the untold stories of the Great Galactic War and its profound impact on the universe. Now that we have a broad understanding of the scale of the Great Galactic War, let's delve into the details of the Draco Orion side. The Draco Orion Empire was a formidable force, comprising a vast network of star systems and allied species. The Draco Orion Empire controlled 236 stars across 26 constellations, with each star hosting multiple habitable planets. Their total military force amounted to 438 billion beings. To put this into perspective, the Draco Orion legions were composed of 80,000 soldiers each. On average, each planet within the Draco Orion Empire had about 1,250 legions. When you consider the scale of their military presence, it's clear why they were such a dominant force in the galaxy. However, the military only represented a portion of the total population. In the Draco Orion Empire itself, 15-30% of the population was involved in the military, reflecting the intense level of involvement in the war. This means that the overall population of the Draco Orion Empire was significantly larger supporting a vast civilian infrastructure behind the military front lines. The allied constellations within the Draco Orion Empire had smaller military forces, with only 3 to 15% of their populations involved in the military. These allies contributed significantly to the war effort, but their military might was not as overwhelming as that of the Draco Orion Corps. Let's take a closer look at some of the most notable constellations within the Draco Orion Empire. Draco. The heart of the Empire, known for its fierce warriors and advanced technology. The birthplace of the Kiakar Draconians. Orion. A strategic military hub, Orion provided some of the best trained soldiers and cutting-edge weaponry. It was also the origin of DNA for the massive cloning of gray aliens, who were produced in the millions and used as cannon fodder to minimize Draconian casualties. Taurus. Famous for its formidable starships and robust defenses, Taurus was a key player in the Empire's military might. Scorpius. Known for its stealth tactics and espionage, Scorpius played a crucial role in gathering intelligence and undermining enemy forces. Hydra. With a vast number of habitable planets, Hydra was a significant source of manpower and resources for the Empire. Visualize the sheer scale of this. Entire planets dedicated to supporting the war effort, with advanced manufacturing and supply chains ensuring the constant flow of resources to their legions. 
The Draco Orion military machine was relentless, and their reach extended across a vast portion of the galaxy. But this military might came at a cost. The heavy militarization meant that civilian life was deeply intertwined with the war. Families lived in constant uncertainty, with many of their loved ones on the front lines. The economic and social structures of the Draco Orion Empire were heavily geared towards sustaining their military campaigns. With a detailed understanding of the Draco Orion Empire, let's turn our attention to the Lyran side of the Great Galactic War. The Lyrans, along with their allies who are now part of the Galactic Federation, played a crucial role in the conflict. The Lyrans controlled 236 stars across 38 constellations, with each star hosting multiple habitable planets. Their total military force amounted to 387 billion beings. The Lyran legions were composed of 70,000 soldiers each, a formidable force in their own right. On average, each planet within the Lyran-controlled constellations had about 714 legions, showcasing their significant military presence. Like their Draco Orion counterparts, the military only represented a portion of the total population. In the Lyran core systems, 15 to 30 percent of the population was involved in the military, reflecting their deep commitment to the war effort. This means that the overall population of the Lyran-controlled constellations was significantly larger, supporting a vast civilian infrastructure that played a critical role in sustaining their military operations. The allied constellations within the Lyran side had smaller military forces, with only 3 to 15 percent of their populations involved in the military. These allies, while not as heavily militarized, still contributed significantly to the war effort through resources, intelligence, and support troops. Let's take a closer look at some of the most notable constellations within the Lyran Alliance. Lyra, the central hub of the Lyran forces, known for its strategic command centers and advanced technology. Pleiades renowned for their agile spacecraft and innovative tactics, the Pleiadians were key players in many critical battles. Sirius, a crucial source of advanced weaponry and technology, Sirius provided cutting-edge equipment to the Lyran forces. Arcturus, known for its skilled diplomats and strategic intelligence operations, Arcturus played a vital role in maintaining the unity of the Galactic Federation. Andromeda, famous for its strong diplomatic ties and significant contributions to the Galactic Federation's united front, Andromeda's forces were essential in many defensive and offensive operations. Visualize the dedication of these civilizations. Entire planets focused on the war effort, with massive industries producing weapons, ships, and supplies. The Lyran military was not just about brute force. It was about strategy, unity, and resilience. Their ability to adapt and innovate gave them a crucial edge in many battles. But this dedication came at a high cost. Civilian life was deeply affected by the war, Communities were mobilized, resources were redirected to the war effort, and families faced the constant threat of loss. The economic and social fabric of the Lyran-controlled constellations was fundamentally altered by the demands of the conflict. As we continue our exploration of the Great Galactic War, it's time to confront the devastating consequences of this interstellar conflict. The sheer extent of destruction and loss of life is almost unimaginable but understanding it is crucial to grasping the true impact of the war. Estimates suggest that between 50 and 500 planets were completely destroyed during the Great Galactic War. To put this into perspective, each planet housed an average of 5 billion beings. If 50 planets were obliterated, that means 250 billion lives were lost. If the number reached 500 planets, the death toll would be an almost incomprehensible 2.5 trillion. These aren't just numbers. Each life lost was part of a family, a community, a culture. Entire ways of life were erased in an instant. Imagine vibrant cities turned into silent ruins, bustling civilizations now mere memories. The physical destruction was catastrophic, but the cultural loss was equally profound. Visualize the aftermath. Desolate planets where thriving cities once stood, now reduced to rubble. 
the remnants of advanced societies scattered across barren landscapes, silent testimonies to the scale of the conflict. Ruins of buildings that were once centers of knowledge and culture, now empty and abandoned. Memorials erected to honor the countless lives lost, standing as solemn reminders of the price of war. The military engagement in these wars was equally vast. On the Draco-Orion side alone, the total military force was approximately 438 billion soldiers. The Lyran forces added another 387 billion soldiers. Together, the combined military strength reached a staggering 825 billion soldiers. These weren't just faceless numbers. Each soldier was an individual with a story, a family, and a community. The casualties among military personnel were in the billions. The scale of the loss is almost impossible to comprehend. These soldiers were not just fighters. They were defenders of their worlds, heroes in their own right, many of whom paid the ultimate price. The destruction wasn't confined to physical landscapes. Entire cultures, histories, and advancements were lost. Each civilization had its own unique contributions to the galaxy, be it in science, art, philosophy, or technology. With their destruction, irreplaceable knowledge and cultural heritage vanished. As we explore the vastness of the Great Galactic War, it's essential to recognize the contributions from other galaxies, universes, and dimensions. Although most of the fighting and destruction happened in our galaxy, these allies sent their forces to help, further expanding the scale and impact of the conflict. The Andromedans, renowned for their advanced technology and strategic acumen, played a pivotal role in the war. Their starships and weaponry were among the most advanced in the universe, providing critical support to the Lyran Alliance. The Andromedans' participation underscored the galaxy-wide significance of the conflict and highlighted the need for a united front against the Draco Orion Empire. Other galaxies and beings from other universes and dimensions also joined the fight. Each brought unique strengths and resources, further bolstering the forces of both sides. Some joined the Lyran Alliance, contributing to their military and strategic efforts, while others sided with the Draco Orion Empire, enhancing their formidable forces. These contributions were crucial in shaping the course of the war, demonstrating the power of intergalactic and interdimensional cooperation and conflict. With the involvement of other galaxies, universes, and dimensions, the total number of beings affected by the war increased significantly. Initially, the total number of beings in our galaxy involved in the war ranged between 4.125 trillion and 27.5 trillion. Considering additional contributions, we can estimate that at least another 50 trillion beings from various realms participated in the war effort divided among both sides. The total lives affected by the war would range between 54.125 trillion and 77.5 trillion beings. Estimates suggest that 50 to 500 planets were destroyed, each with approximately 5 billion inhabitants. This translates to a death toll ranging from 250 billion to 2.5 trillion civilian deaths, including the military casualties, which were significant due to the extensive fighting the total death toll would be much higher. Given the combined military forces of 825 billion soldiers in our galaxy and potentially billions more from other galaxies and dimensions, with casualties potentially ranging from 10% to 50%, the military deaths would range between 400 billion and 2 trillion soldiers. Combining civilian and military casualties, the total death toll would range between 650 billion and 8 trillion deaths, that's this many zeros, 8,000, thousand, thousand, thousand. As we reflect on these staggering numbers, it's clear that the Great Galactic War was a conflict of unprecedented scale and devastation. The involvement of other galaxies, universes, and dimensions further underscores the universal impact of the war and the immense cost paid by countless civilizations. As we come to the end of our journey through the Great Galactic War, it's important to reflect on the lessons learned and the enduring legacy of this monumental conflict. The war's devastation was immense, but it also brought about profound changes and new understandings. The Great Galactic War highlighted the destructive potential of unchecked aggression and the importance of diplomacy and cooperation. 
the immense loss of life and cultural heritage underscored the need for peaceful resolutions to conflicts and the value of preserving our shared history. One of the most significant outcomes of the war was the formation of the Galactic Federation. This alliance of civilizations, forged in the crucible of war, became a beacon of hope and unity. The Galactic Federation's mission is to promote peace, cooperation, and mutual understanding among all species and civilizations, preventing future conflicts on such a devastating scale. The war also taught us about resilience and the power of unity. Despite the immense destruction, civilizations across the galaxy came together to rebuild and recover. The collaborative efforts in reconstruction and healing have led to a more connected and interdependent universe, where the bonds formed in adversity continue to strengthen interstellar relations. The involvement of other galaxies, universes, and dimensions further highlighted the interconnectedness of all life. The solidarity and support from these distant allies were crucial in overcoming the Draco-Orion threat and paved the way for greater cooperation across different realms. As we remember the Great Galactic War, we honor the sacrifices of those who fought and the countless lives lost. Their legacy is a reminder of the fragility of peace and the enduring need to protect it. The stories of heroism, resilience, and unity that emerged from the war continue to inspire future generations to strive for a more harmonious and just galaxy. In closing, the Great Galactic War serves as both a cautionary tale and a testament to the resilience of life. By remembering and learning from this dark chapter in our history, we can work towards a future where peace and unity prevail, ensuring that such a devastating conflict never happens again. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Great Galactic War. Let us carry forward the lessons learned and continue to build a more peaceful and united universe. Thank you for watching. If you found this exploration insightful, please subscribe for more deep dives into the untold stories of the universe. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue the conversation about the importance of peace and unity in our galaxy.